Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kelly and this is the Diva Den where I like to sh talk about all things home related, whether it's DIYs, organizing, cleaning, cooking, a little bit of everything. Um, today, I have to clean my fridge. It's time to give this fridge a cleaning on the inside and the outside. We have some fingerprints, but more on the inside. Uh, we're down to some bare bones and I have some company coming. So I'd like to get it cleaned out before I do my groceries for the company that is coming to stay with us this weekend. So I thought I'd take you along with me and show you how I clean my fridge. So if this is something that you are interested in, stay tuned. And if this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I hope uh, you'll take a browse around my channel and check out some other videos, see uh, what else I, I have done in the past and maybe think about subscribing by hitting that red button below. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Uh, love to have you join me here at the Diva Den. So I am going to start cleaning my fridge. So first things first, I'm just going to enter out the center part of my refrigerator and I'm going to just put everything on the counter so I can go through it and see what needs to be thrown out, what's expired, what's old, what can be put back in. So I'll just put it all over my countertops and uh, I'll go through it at a later time. And I save the doors for later on. And you gotta have your wine. Okay, the middle part is now empty and you can see all the crumbs and the spills that have made their way onto the shelf. Now I have a clear area so I can wipe it all down and get them all sparkly again. And then I'll work on the doors afterwards. I'll take all these compartments out and I will go through each and every item and give all the shelves a good wipe. Um, and the doors as well, just to make sure there's no nothing sticky on the back of it. So here's just a brief look at one of the countertops of everything that I took out of that middle section. I already know there's a lot that needs to be thrown out. There's a lot of expired and old produce. I think there was some moldy lemons in there. And here's the other counter. So there's still more to come, but this is a start. So to wipe down the refrigerator, I just use a mixture of white vinegar and water. I place it in a spray bottle and uh, that's what I use to spray on the shelves and just wipe down with a damp cloth sometimes or a paper towel. But I figure it's safe to use around food, so that's what I'm going to use. Now I was mortified here. I've used a shelf liner and it's sticking to the shelf and some bits of the backing stayed. I was so worried it wasn't gonna come off, but it just wiped right off, so I was so happy with that. Now I'm going to go through each of the bins that I took out of the refrigerator and I'm just going to go through and see what needs to go and what can stay and then I'll give them a good scrub down as well. Now it's time to place those bins back in their spots and start to reload what is going to stay in the refrigerator. And uh, then I'll start working on the doors and taking those little baskets off to get them cleaned up. Right now that bottle of wine is calling my name, but for now it'll be water. 
Now I'm just going to go through all the produce that's left here and try to get some stuff back into the bins and reorganize what's going to go back in the refrigerator. Guys, there was so much stuff in this fridge that shouldn't or didn't need to be in there. It was old, it was expired, it was empty. So I'm glad I'm doing this. So now I'll just go through and pitch out anything I don't want to stay in the refrigerator. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And I'm so happy that stuff came off that top shelf from the shelf liner. And the bins on and the doors, they all just look so clean. Now I feel ready to tackle the next project and that's putting it all back together. But everything is sparkling, it looks great. I love this egg container. I found it at HomeSense and it's perfect. It holds the eggs and you can see when you've run out. I love that thing. Now I'm just going to take all the bins I had inside and try to figure out the best way to configure everything back in so it makes sense. Yes, I'm taking out what I just put in another bin and putting it into a different one. It wasn't working before and uh, this is going to work out a lot better for this stuff. So, yep, sometimes you have to do trial and error a few times to get it right. And now I'll fill up the doors and put some of the condiments back in this top basket. I know better. It is my husband's barbecue basket, so I know exactly what needs to go in there. Now I'm going to put all the produce back in, and this stuff is my favorite. It's sweet potato rice and cauliflower rice. Fry it up. It is delicious. Now it's time to get the sink and the countertop back in shape and after taking all that stuff out and washing it all, uh, everything got a little grimy so I'm going to give the sink a good scrub and the countertops as well. And then the kitchen should be pretty well back in order. This is what I use to clean my stainless steel. I just get it at my local hardware store, grocery store, Walmart, anywhere like that. It does a really good job leaves everything nice and clean and shiny, not no streaks, and it does have a really nice lemony smell as well. And this is what I use to keep my counters clean. It's the Method Granite Cleaner. It smells wonderful and it does a really good job. I think you've probably seen this used by a lot of people on YouTube or Pinterest or wherever, but yeah, it's really, really good. And now let me show you my finished refrigerator. It is 
just looking so good. Everything is organized on the top shelf. I'm loving these containers up here to hold everything. Look at this, I have a whole shelf empty now. And then everything else has its place, it's back in order, all the refrigerator doors and their bins are clean. I got rid of so many salad dressings that were either expired or empty. I just can't believe they were in there. My husband's barbecue stuff is all back. And yeah, all the jams are together. I am so happy I took the time to do this. Now I didn't film this part cleaning out my freezer section because we really don't keep a lot in here and we do have a deep freezer downstairs which holds the bulk of our stuff but we really don't keep a lot in here my i'm a vegetarian so there's not a lot of meat it's for my husband and it's only the two of us so it's not like we need to freeze a lot and if we do not buy anything in bulk it usually goes downstairs but it wasn't that bad anyways, it was just a quick little wipeout and put everything back. And here we go, my kitchen is back to normal. Everything's wiped down and shining and it just looks so good. I'm so happy with the end result. And now I am ready for the weekend and our company. Okay guys, that's it. My fridge is all clean in advance of my company coming this weekend. By the time this video goes up, they probably will have come and gone, but I'm very happy. I have a really clean fridge and I can go do groceries and I have spots for everything now. So that is really great. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you'll think about giving it a thumbs up and even think about subscribing by hitting that red button below. I'd love to have you join me each week. And now, you know what? A job well done deserves a reward. Thank you, honey. Cheers, everyone. Happy weekend. I hope you have a fabulous one. Bye.